By now, you probably have heard of ChatGPT. And you may have heard that Rev used ChatGPT to create a guitar pedal circuit, which ended up kind of coming out like a blues breaker. Well, I wanted to see for myself what happens whenever you use ChatGPT to create a guitar pedal circuit. So I'm gonna take you through the process briefly because it can be a pretty long process, but I'll take you through the process and we'll see what happens together. So first of all, we need to ask ChatGPT to create a guitar pedal circuit for us. So let's go do that. Okay, so now I have everything breadboarded for the first iteration of the circuit that ChatGPT wanted me to do. And um, let's see what happens. My clean tone. Let's turn it on. Okay, it doesn't work. Let's figure out why it's not working. Okay, so there's a few things going on here. First of all, this section here, I asked it to create a buffer, or actually it said it was going to create a buffer, and that is not set up like a buffer at all. So that's wrong. This stuff here, like, it's going to work, but that's going to probably sound crappy. Uh, not sure about the value on that. This definitely... That's not going to work that way. It's just not going to work that way. So we need to ask chat GPT. We need to first tell it that, that this first stage is not set up like a buffer and it needs to be set up like a buffer. And then we need to also tell it that the last stage is not set up like a buffer at all either. And it needs to be set up like a buffer. So we need to get some insight from chat GPT. Okay, I've made some changes and uh, let's see what it sounds like. First of all, let's do the clean tone. Okay, so for you to be aware, this is my gain control. This is the tone control. This is the volume control. This gain control is all the way up right now, for example. That ain't it. That ain't it at all. So a couple things going on. For one, the frequencies are absolutely wonky. And uh, we're not clipping hardly at all, so we need to change those two things. We have to go ask ChatGPT what to do. Okay, so ChatGPT said for us to change to a bigger potentiometer, and we're going to increase the low, well, we're gonna change the low pass, the uh, high pass filtering in the op amp. So we're gonna change a capacitor out. And of course, it's now time to play test it. Okay, so we've turned it into a bad fuzz. What to do, what to do. I wonder if ChatGPT understands that it just turned it into a bad fuzz. Probably not, I'm guessing. But basically the reason here is that we're, we got too much bass going into this op amp into, and then clipping. So it's creating kind of more of a fuzzy effect. So I'm going to have to, uh, I'm gonna have to ask ChatGPT exactly how to change this. Okay, so here's what we have so far. We've changed the gain pot to a one megs in order to get more gain. We have made them actual buffer, made the input buffer an actual buffer, made the output buffer an actual buffer. And we're, we also changed um, this high pass filtering here on the op amp to, um, well, basically ChatGPT said 
try a, well, first it said try a 0.1 and, and some other values. And I was like, that's still way, way too bassy for a guitar thing. You can, that's that's going to sound like trash. And I said, no, I said, asked it, what's the typical frequency in most guitar pedal overdrives? You know, it didn't know. It really didn't know. It t- it basically told me what the low E of a guitar resonates at. It was like 82 hertz or something like that. And I was like, nope, that's, that's not going to work. Uh, let's go with this frequency. Let's go with about 700 or give or take, six, 700, something like that. So it's okay. 0.002 or a 0.003 capacitor, microfarad. And uh, that's that's in this area right here, C14 on this particular schematic. So we're going to give that a try. And uh, if that doesn't work, we'll ask the all-knowing AI chat GPT what to do next. Okay, let's give it one more shot. All right, here we go. Let's turn it on. That ain't it either. You know what? Screw this. I'm gonna do it my own way. You know what? I just completely ignored chat GPT, went with my gut, came up with a couple values real quick off the top of my head. Let's see what it does. Well, it's sure not perfect by a long shot, but in my opinion, I think, um, you know, engineers everywhere and even your typical DIYer, you're completely safe with uh, chat GPT taking your job or your fun away. Um, I mean, it is handy. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There are things about it that are incredibly handy. It's, it's interesting to use it to help create ideas or to learn new things. You gotta kind of fact check it a bit, but still, do I think that this is the way to make guitar pedals? Oh, no, not and not at all. Not in any way. But in all likelihood, it'll get a lot better or something that is useful in this way will be around at some point soon. So it's probably being like incorporated into Spice or something like that, which is a software we used to design guitar stuff or electronic stuff. So anyways, hope you liked the video. I thought it would just be something fun to do since Rev just released that pedal and I hadn't like, I never really used ChatGPT to do this particular thing. So hope you like it. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. We'll see you next time with the new video.